Hey there, evolutioners, how are you? <laughs> this is a quick short one, quick short one. Uh, it's really about creating awareness. Despite the name, I want you to be lighthearted with this and know that this is just about creating awareness uh, and an understanding of your emotions and thoughts and feelings that are sitting around these aspects of your environment and give you awareness of where things need to be worked on to make sure that you're coming from a space of integrity, of balance, of calm, of peace and organization. <laughs> so let's get into it. I, I hope you could uh, pause the, moment, the video and make sure that you're in a quiet space somewhere where you won't be disturbed for a few minutes. And we're just quickly going to go into a bit of a meditative state and just go on a bit of a journey together. So do what you need to, to be ready. See that in a comfortable position, hands wherever you feel comfortable and we're going to take some deep breaths in so with me on three breaths into the belly If you haven't already, closing your eyes, one more breath. And resuming to a normal breath and just sitting with me. So from this point, I want you to realize that you are safe, you are calm, and you're in your own home. Next moment, you're going to hear a knock at the door. As you walk over to the door, I want you to pay attention to what emotions are sitting around you walking to your door unexpectedly. As you open the door, you are greeted by my smiling face. Yes, I've come to visit you. Are you happy to welcome me into your home? If you are, great. If you're not, I would like you to think about why as we continue on this journey. As I walk in, what do I see? What am I seeing here? Do you have a hallway? Do you have a little entryway? Do we have bedrooms that jut straight off from the door? Or do we have our lounge room straight away? Let's say I'm walking into a small opening. Am I seeing shoes around the doorway? Am I seeing flowers or a pot plant or beautiful ornaments on display? Is there dust and sand and grit on the floor? How are the ornaments and the display areas? Are they clean and tidy? How do you feel about me being in this area? Not to worry. Let's move on into the lounge room. So as I walk into the lounge room, is it an open space? Is everything put away? Or are there clothes and cups and remotes and uh, ornaments and things just scattered about? Is it clean? Is it tidy? Are things where they need to be? How do you feel in this space normally? How do you feel in this space with me here, with me seeing everything and how you live? Do you feel like this is presented how you would like it to be? Is there things that make you feel like you're cringing or you're, you're, uh, you're, you're scouring away from this and feeling uncomfortable? Never mind. Let's walk on into the next room. Is this your dining area? Are the chairs and tables set in a nice way? Is the things put away in clear bench tops? Do we have a nice family display in this area? How are the floors? Are they clean? Are they mopped? How do you feel about this area? Are there things that you need to put away, want to put away, that haven't yet been put away? Pay attention to those things and let's move into the next room. Is this the kitchen? Mm, my favourite. <laughs> As I walk in, do I see clear, clean bench tops? Or do we have a, a corner of maos, maos, chaos, where everything sits, where everything is just thrown at the end of every day? Or do we see clear bench tops with a beautiful pot plant, dishes put away, everyone is happy and everything is in its place? Is your stove top clean or is it dirty? When I open up your oven, is your oven well kept? What is about time it had a bit of attention? How are the windows? How is the sink? How are the walls? How is the splashback? <laughs> Did we have any spaghetti rolls last night? 
looking into your plastic cupboard. Oh, what do we got here? How does it feel inside each of your cupboards and drawers? Do you feel a sense of calm and pride and ease and humour? Or are we feeling a little bit like there are some things that really should get done finally? Now let's move over to the fridge. And when I open these doors, what do I see? Do I see food that is nourishing and fresh and wholesome? Do I see food that is really assisting you on this journey? Do I see beautiful options and wonderful colour? Do I see a beautiful array of balanced food in your cupboards, uh, in your fridge? Do we have milk that is for you and the family? Are we looking at what is in alignment with your pH 60 profile? And the things that maybe aren't so good for you, do we have them maybe put to the back of the fridge out of sight? I do understand that if you have other people living in the house, these things definitely can happen. What are you doing in this space to empower yourself for better choices? What about the freezer? Is everything put away? Is there lots of ice cream and lollies or chocolates? Is this where all the naughty things are hidden? Or do we have a beautiful supply of ready-made meals so that you know that when you're feeling like you don't want to cook, you've got some really great options to pull out so that you know you're going to make a great choice. We all know we get busy at times. Let's move across to the cupboards. How are the cupboards? Do we have lots of packets and chips and boxes and biscuits and sauces and all the wonderful spreads? Or do we have an array of beautiful legumes and cans of coconut cream and alternate milks and alternate things that we can really play with and create some wonderful meals? How is this space? Is this really aligning and serving you? Or are we feeling like maybe there might be some things that need to be made uh, a few adjustments with or some few, a few new placements or a few new boxes that don't necessarily scream, eat me when I'm not feeling the greatest? <sighs> and how are the floors? <laughs> do we need to do a bit of a cleanup? Let's walk on through. Whose bedroom do I come to first? Is there a spare bedroom where things are quite nicely put away? Or is things needing to be tidied up? Is this the, the dump and run room? That's okay, we can get to this. How's the floor? How's the windows? Let's move to the next room. Is this the office? The wonderful office that makes you feel inspired, helps you to understand what you've got on, on at the moment, helps you to see what you might be needing to get on top of. Do we have clarity? Do we have order? Do we have fun whiteboards up on the wall? Or do we have checklists sitting around or post-it notes? Do we have a bunch of to-do lists that never get done? What does this room say about your current state of achievement and goals to be done and clarity of where you're going? How do you feel when you walk into this space? Is this really serving where you're going? Or is this a bit of a project for the next couple of weeks? Let's move on into that main bedroom. How's your main bedroom? How's your queen or kingdom? How is your relaxing space? Is everything in its place? Is there dust lying on the surfaces? Is there underwear hanging out of drawers? Is there socks that are all mishapped? Is there clothes strewn across, strewn across the end of the bed? Is everything clean and tidy? How do you feel? Do you feel like you come into this space well rested? Or is this a bit of a congestion spot? And a, another end of the night anxiety that you'll get to another day? Do we have a, uh, a bathroom off to the side? Do we have a clean bathroom? Do we have a tidy bathroom? Do we have a monstrous pile of washing that's to be done? What are the things that are sitting here that make you feel good? And what are the things that are sitting here that you really need to get on top of? How's that toilet bowl? Mm -mm. How is the cupboards, the toiletries, the shampoo, the conditioner? Are there things in there that make you feel beautiful and smell wonderful and love getting into this space and cleaning yourself? Or are there things in here that you just don't quite fit? These are the areas in which we really want to look at and, and see where do I need to love myself more and allow myself to appreciate these spaces. Never mind, let's walk on out. As I come back out, there's another toilet. Let's just check in there. Is this a spare visitor's toilet? Not to worry. How are we? Is there toilet paper? Is the bowl clean? Is there spray fresh freshener? Is there finger marks on the walls? 
is has the toilet floor been cleaned? How are we going in this room? This is where other people come into. Not to worry, we have plenty of time. As we walk back out, I really want you to feel the energy of your home that you live in. The home that is meant to be your wonderful oasis, the place that you come to nurture and balance and appreciate the day or get ready for the next. Where are the elements inside of your home that need attention, that need balance and order? So often we end up allowing ourselves to get caught up in life that we forget to really look after the space that we come home to and we balance ourselves in. Let's take some deep breaths. bit of a sigh let it all out let it all out one more <sighs> opening your eyes and wiggling your toes and your fingers and coming back into the space how was that no judgment i didn't see what you were actually seeing you did and i really would like you to feel into that and see where are the spaces that you really should be honoring yourself more and maybe they're not actually serving the emotional standpoint that you should be coming from in your day in day out is this a space of anxiety and things that you should be getting done but you haven't you are the one that has this responsibility if you aren't allowing your most precious environment to be nurturing you inspiring you motivating you cleansing you healing you how are you expecting to face the outside world this is a beautiful practice don't ever feel threatened by them. It's just awareness. So I think you probably have a list of some things to take care of. And I want you to, if you're the connectors and the activators, or actually, no, if you're a connector and a guardian and a diplomat, put on some great music and get in there and dance around the house and get it done. Bring the kids in, bring the family and bring the partner in. Make it a team effort. If you're an activator, I challenge you to get it done in 20 minute bouts. See how much you can get done in 20 minute bouts. If you're a crusader, maybe a sensor. Crusader, you're probably going to hire a cleaner. Eh, go for it. If you've got the money, get it done. If you're a diplomat, you might want to hire a cleaner. Go for it. If you've got the money, get it done. If you're a sensor, generally you guys are pretty good with keeping your stuff together. And we are all generally quite jealous <laughs> because having mess and chaos doesn't generally make much sense to you. Our crusaders, on the other hand, are usually on their mission taking care of the nitty gritties don't really come to you very well. So uh, hire a cleaner. <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed this. I'd love to see you pop comments below of what you experienced. Share, if you will, uh, what came up for you and your goals for the next couple of weeks or the next couple of weekends. Um, what are you working on? What needs to be done? What do you want holding accountability to? You've got this all with love and light and uh, enjoy this journey at all times. Thanks guys.